Hey guys, welcome back to ACR Falconry. On today's episode, we're actually going to show you guys how to use the Bell Shot Tree Trap, also known as the BC Trap. So I'm going to go over the trap that I've made. Um, there's tons of different designs that you guys can create. And anyway, I'll go over mine and we'll get out and we'll go looking for a red tail today. Yeah, so this is my trap. As I went over in our last video, I showed you a little bit about it. And then this is the addition that I said I was going to add so that I could extend the GoPro back to be a little bit further away from the trap. I created it out of half inch wire mesh that you can get at like any hardware store and you can kind of bend it and shape it to the size that you want. Try to get rid of any of your sharp edges that would come from where the cuts have been made on the wire itself. I tend to fold mine onto the inside so that they're away from the outside so that when the hawk's grabbing it, there's nothing that's gonna get caught on their feet other than the nooses. So the nooses are with a uh, 30 pound fishing line. And the way I do mine is I tie, I take about a 10 inch piece and I tie two nooses on the same piece. And then I tie the center and I try to tie them right in the center points of the meshing. You can kind of see better here. So that I find that if the mice are gonna chew, they chew on the long parts of the mesh and not so much in the very corner part of the mesh. I just made mine where this screws onto the bottom so that I can just pop one screw off, slide it sideways, and then I put the mouse inside. So yeah, that's the uh, BC trap that I have created. And let's get out and I'll show you guys how to use one in the field. So what I like to do actually when I'm out trapping is try to get onto some country back roads are the best and you're just kind of looking along hydro lines, hydro poles, any fields that you can find on the edge of fields, you kind of just want to look along them. The more eyes, the better. It makes it a little bit easier for spotting. So we drove for an hour, and uh, then we spotted this guy. It was a good location, and it was a perfect placement. I didn't get the footage of the placement just because it was kind of chaos. To You want to make sure you get the trap out, and I didn't want to have cameras rolling and causing the hawk to spook. So we placed the trap with the hawk looking straight down at the camera, which was a perfect placement. And this is how it played out. Nice. 
980. So remember when you do your weight, um, you're gonna then subtract the weight of your hood. So my hood's about 10 grams, so that would come off. But you can re-weigh whatever was on the bird when you were weighing it at the, at the end, and you can subtract that from the trap weight. Feet look good. And when handling them, you wanna make sure you're kinda of holding um, more of the leg down here and not so much of the ankle. So you try to get a grip that's kind of close to the body. So when you're holding, then you should always try to keep them up to your uh, up to your chest. Swings. And that's how you can tell it's a juvenile. So juveniles have the stripes and it's more of this lighter color. And obviously if it was an adult, it would be a solid red on the on the tail and we will do his anklets and get his tag and stuff like that on so i actually made these um so usually these grommets come with a, a punch and then the bottom piece which then you would use a hammer but instead i made this so that you can use the uh the vice grips and it's preset so you just make sure that you don't have it near the bird's leg usually this is a lot easier if you have somebody helping you but you can definitely do them on your own All right, guys, here he is sitting on my glove for the first time. Still hooded, but I will attempt to take the hood off here in a few seconds and see how he reacts. Get through my glove. <laughs> you were confused for a second. So yeah, so moving on, we're just gonna be doing the manning stages that I use with him. So I won't spend too much time today, the initial day, just because it stresses them out. So basically I like them to sit in the dark. So it'll be, he's gonna be hooded and put into his giant hood. And then uh, we will attempt to give him his first feeding probably tomorrow evening-ish. Hey guys, thanks for watching the trapping video. Be sure to tune in next week to watch the, one of the fastest training sessions that I've had with a red tail. It's been pretty epic. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.